times a discount rate. If they're doing a 10% sale, the discount rate would be 10%. In other words, discount equals the regular price item times the discount rate. Uh, please look on the board here real quick. I'm going to use two different R's. Capital R is going to stand for the regular price item. Notice regular price, regular price at the same R. Discount rate, I'm going to use a little r. Usually a little r will stand for a rate of some sort. So that little r right there stands for the discount rate. Are you guys okay with that? Yeah. So while these r's are the same, this r stands for a discount rate. Let's see if we can do this. Do a couple examples with this one. Let's say you need to go buy a bed. This bed is, I had to actually go do this other, other, other year. Bought a bed last year, it was uh, it's like $1,200. Let's make it more interesting, say $1,150. Yeah. $1, $1,150 regularly. But it's on sale for 40% off. Oh, well, not 4%. That's a sucky sale. 40%. What I want to do is find the sale price. Haven't you seen sales like that in stores where they go, oh, 60% off? But when you go up to the cash register, you're actually trusting them that they're giving you 60% off, right? Aren't you? Because it doesn't say right on there what the price is normally. They say, okay, let's do 60% off whatever the sticker price is. So if it says 1,150 bucks, well, you better know about how much 40% is. Otherwise, what if they get wrong? What if they only give you 30% off? Well, they're taking advantage of you, aren't they? Of your lack of math skills if you don't know how to do that. So we're going to find out right now how to figure out what that's going to be. Now, if you, if you really do think back to a couple sections ago, we've actually done these problems before. We've done these problems before. We've just did them with proportions. So this is a different way to look at it. It's just a little different way. So your bed cost... $1,150, but it's on sale for 40% off. Let's find the sale price. First thing we got to figure out is how much the discount actually is. So what is the amount that you're saving? What's the amount you're saving? That's given by this right here. Find your discount. Well, because, because look, I mean, can you find the sale price if you know the regular price but not the discount? No. Not really. I mean, you have to know that discount. So let's see if we can find our discount. Discount is the regular price times the discount rate. Can you tell me, ladies and gentlemen, what is your regular price item? $1,100. Okay. Times, what's the discount rate up here? 40%. How would you write 40%? 0.40. Point. Four point four What is it? Did you figure it out? 460. 460? Yes. How many people got 460 out of that? Did you? Guys in the back, yes, no? Are you okay with that? $460. Hey, does that mean you're going to spend $460 on this bed? No. What's the $460 represent? What's that mean? Knocked off. Ah, okay. So the discount, what's being knocked off or the amount that you're that you're saving here is $460. Now, a common sense question. If you're saving $460, can you figure, because I want these formulas to make sense to you. I don't want you to just use formulas, that's boring. I want these formulas to make sense. Firstly, are you okay that this is how you find out a percentage of a number? You take a percentage times a number. That's one way to figure it out. We just found 40% of $1,150. You with me on that? Mm -hmm. it's, six, it's 460, that's how much you're saving. Now, let me ask you a question. If it's normally 1150, look on the board, please. 
if it's normally 1150 and you're saving 460 can you figure out how much it's going to cost you yes. how that's what that says that's all that says it just says you subtract your discount from your regular price and that's give, giving you how much you're going to spend it's just now in a formula for you do you guys see that okay so subtract them your sale price what you're going to spend is your regular price minus how much your discount is how much did I spend on my bed? Yeah, that's about right. So it's like million dollars. Yeah, let's tax it. Yeah, that's, that's actually the, the other question. Is could you figure out if I asked you to, if the sales tax was 8.75%, could you figure out how much I would have to pay out the door? Would you be able to figure that out? We, uh, we now have sales tax. You could do, I'm not going to ask you to do it, but you could do that. You could also figure out if some person made commission off this, could you figure out how much commission they made? Let's say they got 10% commission. Could you figure that out now too? So you can do a lot of things with business at this point in your, your math careers just by knowing that simple stuff. Okay, well, I'm going to show you one other way to do this. I'll have you do one on your own, then we'll move on. So one other thing we can look at is this example. Let's say someone wanted to find out the discount rate. So for instance, I went into a store and they said it was 30% uh, off. That's about right. They said it was 30% off. But I noticed that the camera was $250 on the sticker and my bill said $145.50. Can you figure out whether that's 30% off or not? That's what the question asks. So we'll look at that together. So a camera was $250. I got it for $145.50. The guy told me, oh, you're saving 30%. That's what he said. So that's, he said, that's 30% that's off. Let's find out if he was right. What we need to do is figure out a way that we can go backwards from these formulas. You see, right now, it's not giving us a discount rate at all, is it? It's giving us, well, it's giving my sale price. It's giving my regular price. So let's look at what we have. We've got a sale price, and we've got a regular price. Do we have enough to figure this out? Do we know a discount? No. We don't know that yet. But can we use this to find a discount? Yes. Let's use this to find a discount, then this to find the rate. Does that make sense to you? Yes. So it's a combination of these ideas. So we know that sale equals regular minus discount. We're looking for, well, what do we have? Do we have the sale price of the item? Yeah. Yes. How much was it? 200. The sale price. How much was on sale? Uh, 145.50. What was it regularly? 250. That's what the R stands for. Minus D. Now we're trying to solve for D. How do we do it? Divide. Divide. Really? We add, add. add 250 on both times. You add 250. Subtract. 250 is already positive. If we add 250, Subtract. let's check out. Let's check out these ideas. If we divide right here, it would not get rid of 250 minus D. Wouldn't do it. If we add 250 right here, it's going to give us 500 minus D. Are you with me on that? Yeah. That's not the way we want to do that. If we subtract 250, is it going to get rid of the 250? Yes. Yeah. Do that. Okay, on the left-hand side, on your calculator, you should have 145.50 minus 250. It should give you a negative number. One, four, five, four, five. One, zero, four, point five. Mm -hmm. Negative. Oh, negative. That's right. Negative. How many were able to get negative? $104. Okay, now, can you tell me what's on the right-hand side? Negative D. Why isn't it D? Why is it, why is it, it just D? Why does it have the negative there? What, no? So this minus, that's, that, sure it does. Are you looking for negative D? No. How do you get rid of that negative? Add it. 
add it? No, not quite. No, add add it. Div divide it. Sure, if we divide both sides by negative 1, look what that's going to do. All it does is change those negative. signs. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. We're going to get $104.50 equals D. What is $104.50? What's it represent in the context of our problem? What am I talking about here? The camera. That, that's, no. Is that how much I, I paid for the camera? No. no. That's how much I saved. I saved $104.50. Now, that's cool. I mean, we know how much I saved, but what I'm asking for is what percentage is that? What, what's the discount rate? Now, let's look back up here. Look at the board here. I'll, I'll recap this a little bit. We knew the sale price, right? Yes. We knew the regular price. Yes. That allowed us to find the discount that I, got, uh, that I saved. Now, we can use this one. This has the little R in it. That's my discount rate. So along with this, I know that D equals regular price times discount rate. What letters do I know? Do I know little r over here? No. no. That's what I'm looking for. Do I know big r? Yes. yes. What's the big r? 250. 250. Very good. 250. Exactly. What's the big d? One. One. Four. 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 That's what I just found. So I know that 104.50 equals 250 times r. By a show of hands, how many people feel okay with that so far? All right. Hey, can you solve that for R? Yeah. You'd add, subtract, multiply, divide. divide. You'd divide by 104.50 or by 250? Let's do that. So on your calculator, you're going to take 104.50, 104.5, divide that by 250, and you're Zero. going to tell me how much that is. 0 0.418. 0. Did you get 0. Uh, 418? Yeah. Okay. Can you translate that to a percentage? Because that's what I'm asking for. 41.8%. So you go shopping there. The guy told me I saved 30%. How much did I actually save? 41.8%. That's great. That's more. Am I going to go back? Yes. yes. I'm going to tell him, you don't know how to do math, but I love it. 41% on everything. That's the idea as far as uh, discount. Now, one more thing that we can do, I'll show you a little bit of algebraic manipulation. This is going to be a little bit outside the comfort zone for some of you. You ready to see something outside the comfort zone a little bit? Yeah. Something you haven't dealt with yet. I'm going to manipulate these two formulas, and I'm going to show you how to solve this next question that I'm going to ask you. The next question is, let's say that you were just curious, and you, you had this television, and, uh, and it said the price is $1,495, and that's 35% off of something. But it didn't tell you what it was off of. Can you find out the regular price, the initial price before they did the sale? That's the idea. You ready to find that out? So maybe they say, yeah, it's 35% off. Like, well, what's that of? And if it's way too high, you're like, well, you just marked it up, then took 35% off, so it looks like a good sale. People do that all the time. Kohl's does that all the time. If you ever buy anything at Kohl's, regular price, you're doing something wrong, because they always mark it up and then mark it down 50%. Always. That's how they do their business. So anyway.